the one of the questions I'm getting a lot is I've never caught it why I've been exposed to it in my house say, or whatever it might be never caught it and, and this is a fascinating scientific question first of all if we can understand it of course we can make everybody like this couldn't we for whatever reason so I mean one example is one, one person had been exposed four times in different situations to high dose virus and they were given the virus they were part of that trial remember they did the challenge trial, and they never caught it you see so, so clearly they're examining loads of people who've never ever caught COVID who should have and of course one big reason is genetic it looks like so what you want to get is their DNA and see what how their immune system is built because remember Pat resisting this disease is all about your immune system and, and some people have very robust immune systems and, and again they're finding genetic markers now that really defend you a big one Pat is the thing called interferons so some people the virus goes in your nose you make loads of interferons very very quickly that kills the virus almost on contact and then the disease never develops you know and, and this was known but now there's good evidence one, one big reason is if you're a good interferon producer because you, that system is souped up in your your body you, you will resist this virus now, we speculated before about exposure to other coronaviruses might uh, give you some resistance. Um, so they were looking at other coronaviruses to see, was there any commonality? Yeah, that, that was very clear, actually. So there was a huge study on healthcare workers and, in, in the UK mainly who didn't catch it and should have. 15% of them had a very strong T-cell response to previous coronaviruses, which cross-react with SARS-CoV-2. In other words, there's commonalities between different viruses. So let's say, for example, you caught the common cold two years ago or whatever there's bits of that cold that are shared with, with SARS-CoV-2 and then when, when the, the SARS-CoV-2 came along it's like you've been vaccinated almost in other words your system was already able to respond because you'd seen a relative and a really interesting one Pat, and this is the big headline actually from this particular latest discovery is the flu it turns out if you had, if you had H1N1 there's bits of that flu similar to SARS-CoV-2 so you might have antibodies to the flu and they will cross react now with SARS-CoV-2 and then protect you you know and that was in yeah. Sweden 60 68% of people in Stockholm in, in, in the blood transfusion system that examined this had antibodies to that flu that probably gave them some protection against SARS-CoV-2. So again, that notion of, as we say, cross-protection with other viruses, that's holding up. Now, now it won't fully protect you. If you get a massive yeah. dose of virus, you'll probably succumb to, and get infected. You know, But still, there's an element of protection there from previous infections.